<clears throat> I am taking this lane slow. Every time I've tried to uh, brute force a Zoe in lane, I just get fucking destroyed. Eat so I can would you feel your move. Level 1, I think, is a good trade into Zoe, though, but I have to stack mana flow anyways. Reduction in action. Yeah, the lane health seems a little bit better because I'm not playing like an ape. Typically when you play like an ape, you want to level 2 someone. And she loses the wave. So clean. Couldn't have played it any better. That was perfectly set up. It was good. I mean, she fucking griefed, but it was clean on my end, but she griefed. I've had like three games of jungle diff, complete griefing. Which is kind of insane to think, but you know, Master's ELO. Ah, oh, it's too far. Every time she queues, you just back the fuck up. You can't trade anything with the Q. The auto Q just destroys your HP bar. Still have biscuits. Yo, beast, thank you, man. Thank you, brother. Make sure when you ult top that you ult on the wave. So you steal the wave and you get an assist on the top laner. Right? We're good. Oops. Oh, I'm trash. Oh my god, he's got his mythic at level 5. No shit. Cracked balancement. A second one anyway. What's the disgusting lane phase looking like now? Oh, he didn't get it. Lol. Dead. 
God, he's got Mythic at level 5. It's so cringe. There's no point in really trying to fight this guy until Ignite. I'm glad I kept it, because now I can solo kill him. The goal is to only try and solo kill this guy with both sums, because he's fucking Zoe and it's just impossible to otherwise. Vile champ. There's three mid. Chemtech Dragon is just so unfair. No one likes it. It's so broken. It's the inevitable free loss against Chem. Every game is just unwinnable if they get it. It's a death sentence. Wait, is Chem disabled today? Is it gone today? No way. It's gone today. Let's go. No wonder every game felt winnable. She's got red buff. Guys, this champ is not... Uh... Mm. Cancer. Our comp is way better, by the way. Like... There's no way our comp isn't better than theirs, like, game. We have fucking Tarek, Rengar. Like, bro, our comp is so nasty. Now, I'm not worried about Zeri late game. I don't think Zeri late game is anything to worry about if you're playing GP. She gets hit by one barrel, she's tagged, she's dead instantly. Don't care. We're doing pretty good so far, though. She's bot, let's just push. They need to rework Chemsoul. It's a cool concept of having Hextech and Chem. It's just... It's too broken. Oops. They're doing it good. Lol. Let's fucking go mine. My money, sir. It's on the table. Oops. I'm fucking yoinking the shit out of that. Tark was gonna get it. No reason to give a fucking kill to Tark. If he goes dead, I'm gonna try and solo kill mid. Oh, that's just the wrong hotkey, I guess.
That is not the right hotkey. I fucking hotkeyed pots. To something else and I lost my zonias on Q. Rip. Seas. Oh, he's good zonias anyways. Fuck this. These dog shit fucking Zoe players, they're all disgusting humans. Turbo aids. I mean, to be honest, Twisted Fate having a dash like Graves kind of makes sense. They're both thieves. They're both pretty nimble. The fact that Graves has a dash and Twisted Fate doesn't doesn't really make sense to begin with. But it would have to be something akin to Graves. Like, they're human, right? Twisted Fate's a mage, but they're still human. TFSCC Graves doesn't? Well, yeah, I'm just saying. I mean... It would make sense thematically, I guess, but... He doesn't really need the dash, I'm just saying. When they inevitably kill Rapid Fire Cannon, they need to give Twisted Fate's E more range. That's what they need to do. I'm yoinking that if I can. I'm huge. And this game is jungle diffed, so we should win. We have a better comp, better jungler. Wow, I just got virgined on. Maximum virgin overload. He got her. Good shit, fuck you. Wait. Wow. Wow, wow, we will. Huh. Good. I feel like I'm kind of misplaying slightly with where I'm supposed to be placement-wise. That's about it. Everything else is fine. I just hold on to Zeal. Could buy PD, anti probably anti-heal, because they got Vigo. And they got Volley. Can't heal if you're dead though, right? So... Graves solo lane in a good spot, or Graves jungle? I think Graves is just useless, period. I really dislike Graves. I feel like if you play him top, there's better champs. If you play him mid, there's better champs. If you play him in the jungle, there's better champs. There's so many better comp ideas when you don't play Graves. That's the issue with Graves, in my opinion. There are better comps in mind. It just depends. Like, here's the thing with Graves. High elo Graves, challenger level Graves, when everyone plays around the Graves, is broken. It's really good. If you aren't playing around Graves permanently, you're not winning. And even if you do play around with him, you're not guaranteed to win. I don't like Graves on my team. I really dislike that champion. I love playing him. Hate fucking having him on my team. A little bit hypocritical, but...
Like, why play Graves top when you can play Camille or something, or Orn or anything that has better team fight? Why play Graves mid when you can play any generic meta mid? Why play Graves jungle when I can play fucking Hecarim, Nunu, Zac? What's the point? There's just better champs that do more. Like, people play Graves because he's fun as fuck. That's really what it is. It's super fucking fun. Neogems, thanks. Yeah, huge jungle diff, so the game's done. I really like Graves as a champion. He's very fucking cool. I just dislike him because he fucks with team comps. Same problem with Mundo? Not really. Mundo's got Engage. He pussyfoots the front line. And by Engage, I mean he just whips cleavers and then either gets pulled or uh, just walks around and the fight starts around him. It's not rune in first item, it's champs, bro. It's literally champs. This I'm just not a fan of Graves. It takes a really good player to play Graves well, to be honest. At least to really outperform junglers. In my opinion. Same thing with Nidalee. Nidalee and Graves are in the exact same boat. They need to be played very well and very aggressive to be to be just one with. Or they have a really good comp that kind of fills their, their role, right? The one that uh, they're kind of replacing. Like, if you've got Graves jungle, you want engage bot, right? Or like engage top, shit like that. Oh my fucking god. Zack is broken. The, the three best jungles, in my opinion, I don't care about statistics. I always love to see Hecarim, Nunu, and Zack. Hecarim, Nunu, Zack, just, they're so good in comps. They are so good in comps. They do everything you want. Nunu is so broken. Hecarim is so broken. Zack's, I mean, he's up there. If you're good on Zack, insane. Love that champion to have on my team. No, I don't like it. The only assassin... There's two assassin jungles I like. Kiana, Talon. That's it. I feel like Kiana, Talon are uh, consistent, I find. And Kiana's ultimate's just pure broken. It's... You just win... You, you, I don't know. I've seen a lot of Talons. No, I don't like Kiana. I mean, if it's on my team, I like Kiana. I fucking despise Kiana. Kiana. 